Hello, good day and welcome back. So today we're going to be doing an exercise and the exercise here is to implement the echo utility that you might find in most Unix like operating system. Um, Windows should probably have one by now, um, but basically if you don't have one, if you're on Windows and you don't have echo, well, there's a good opportunity for you to implement one. It's not very difficult at all, as we will see in this video. So. What does the echo utility look like? Or what are we actually going to be implementing? And basically what it does is it takes its arguments, which we saw in a previous video, oh, you get access to the arguments that are passed up program to your program, and it writes it out to the standard output. The other thing it does, um, some echo application um, utilities is, have is this minus N option. On my Mac, it has the minus N option. On Unix, you might have a minus E option. The general gist is going to be to implement echo. Um, whether you implement the other options and stuff is optional. I'm going to show you the one. I'm going to implement the one that I see on my Mac here with the minus N option. And so a simple example of what you might call this is you would say echo, and then you pass it some um, arguments. Like here I have hello, and then that's one argument as we discussed in the previous thing. And then the second one is that string. Remember the string is going to be evaluated. Uh, well, in this case, it's not going to be evaluated because it's enclosed in single quotes, but it sort of doesn't matter because I don't have anything embedded in the string that needs evaluating. But anyway, that's going to be passed to the echo program. Echo is just going to write out those arguments, um, which you're going to see at the bottom as hello, a brave new war. So can we write a program like this or utility? So let's do it. So I'm going to speed up things here a little bit. And um, basically, um, you're going to see me create a directory for the application. And then I'm going to start up our editor. Nothing new. It's the stuff you've seen me do a million times. Uh, well, not a million just yet, but exaggerating there a little bit. And then I'm going to start creating our main application. But we need to go, or we should at least, go take a look at what the man page says for Echo. And I'm going to cheat here by, well, not by reading it, but by copying their um, text into my application as documentation. And so I'm going to copy a little bit more here. You can certainly read it. And notice I'm going to just implement the intent of the minus N um, option, which is to suppress the output of the new line. So the rest of blur, the rather blur, blur there about you can also achieve this by doing um, control C or whatever it said. I ignore that. I, I didn't even pay attention. Backshastly, C, I didn't even pay attention to that. So we're not going to try and implement that. So let's test out echo. The built-in one works or the one that at least available my system. And so no surprise there. It write out back the um, arguments. And then I put minus N, it's suppressed right in a new line at the end. Hence, you saw that percent at the end of the output. So for me, in implementing this, and remember, you can try this and you should definitely try it and implement it your way. Fine. If you look at mine and then think you can do it better, definitely advise you to do it. So the way I think to think of this is that regardless of what options or um, arguments are passed, you have to write out a last character. And the last character is either going to be a new line character or not a new line character. Does that make sense? So you you have to write out the last character, and it may or may not be a new line. And so to me, I'm going to just store the last character that you're going to write in a variable and that I have to write in a variable. And then I'm going to do a test. I'm going to say, if I have two options, um, arguments, at least, or exactly, then I know that oh, the first one is the program name, and the second one, I'm going to check and see if that is the minus n option. And as you can see here, if my program, I run my program right now and test it, it seems to be behaving correctly. OK, so now I could continue and say, well, OK, um, in the case of when I have two exactly two arguments, um, the first one is the program name, um, and then the second one, it could be the minus n option. And if that is the case, what I really need to do is skip over those two arguments. And so I'm going to use this offset variable. And I'm going to start off by setting it to 1 because I always want to skip the program name. I never want to echo back the program name. And then only if I have that second option being minus n, then I'm going to all again increment offset to you know advance beyond that um, argument. So everything else I have to deal with now comes from where offset currently is, which in 
any possible situation is either going to be one when there's no minus n option or it's going to be two when there's a minus n option. Okay, does that make sense? And so now all I have to do is loop over from um, the offset, um, loop over args, and then what I need to do is slice the offset. So um, I need to go back in and modify my program here because notice how you see it's echoing the name and the minus n option. So, um, but I also have a problem, a bug here where um, it's also um, not respecting the minus n option that I specify. So I'm going to pipe this to x dump, and there's the a, which is um, new line. And when I pass a minus n, it's still right in it. So there's a bug here, and the bug is that I say when it's exactly two, which what I need to say is when two is there are two or more parameters, then I want to um, thing. And now it works fine. But I still have another bug in my program. It's still printing out the echo and uh, minus a option itself. So I need to go back into my program and mod fix that. So let me do that now. As you can see now, I am going to slice it by offset. And so basically I'm saying from offset onward, everything, rebuild, run it again, and it's working perfectly fine. I don't only have the arguments that I pass. So now we should just test with minus n to make sure we're not printing that out. And yep, I have the percent to the n just like the regular built-in echo, except I have a space there, but I don't care for the, for the most part, it works pretty much the exact the same way. So if you can get this much going, and your operating system or, or whatever you're using doesn't have an echo, you can imp implement your own. And if you do have one, at least now you have an idea how that program is in, the utility is implemented. Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, see you in the next video. Please hit that subscribe button. Please spread the word. I'd really love to see this channel grow. And hit the thumbs up button. Um, next video is also going to be another exercise where we're going to implement the ls um, command um, that you find in Unix again. But we'll, don't worry about it. We'll see it when we get there. Take care. Have a great day and practice. Bye.